The string data type is for declaring a sequence of characters. String literals are enclosed in double quotes such as Java with double quotation marks around the word Java. A string can be any combination of characters including an empty string, a blank, numbers, digits, symbols, and escape characters. String is a class data type, not one of the eight primitive data types, which means that strings are objects and not variables. An object consists of data that belongs to the object and methods or actions that the object can do. And if you look at the Java API on Oracle's website, you can find a list of all the methods that the string class has. And we'll demonstrate a few of these in, in a different video. But for now, let's take a look at some string examples in Java. So you've already seen some string literals. For example, system.out.println hello world. So this is a string literal. It's double quotation marks and we can run the program and it prints out whatever it is that's inside the quotation marks as is. But we could have stored this as a string object by saying string phrase and assign that to hello world. And rather than printing out hello world in the print line statement, we could just stick the word phrase in there. And that will print out the, the phrase hello world. And notice that there's no quotation marks around the name of the string object. If you did have quotation marks around it, what do you think is going to happen? Let's see, it actually just prints out the word phrase. So if there's quotation marks around something, it prints it out as is. No quotes, it'll print out its value instead, hello world. And strings are objects. They're not variables, meaning that there's methods that you can call on these strings. And one of them, let's take a quick look at one of them. And right after the name of the string object phrase, I could type a dot and I get a pop-up with a list of different methods or things that I could do on that string. And let's scroll down and see what we got. And one of them is two uppercase. So select that one and press enter. And watch what happens when I run the program now. It made hello world in all uppercase letters. So that is why strings are objects and not variables. Variables do not have methods that you can call, such as this two uppercase that we just did on the string. 